What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bro Fishing. Today we are in Perry, Florida and we are going scalloping. Yes, we are going after the flying clam. The delicious flying clam. Um, we are going, you know, just out in the, I guess we, would, we call the flats. And uh, yeah, go for some. Go for some scallops. Today we're gonna do a catch and cook with them. So once we get, you know, we'll go to Mount, we're gonna head back in, make some kind of scallop dinner with it. Puppy and then, puppy dog. Make some kind of scallop dinner with them. Should be a good time. Um, Y'all stay tuned and uh, we'll see you at the first spot. Alrighty, first spot. Let's get going. An octopus. Uh, he's sticking on. Yeah, he is. There you go. Let's prime him up. <laughs> Lettuce. Okay. Oh, his beak. Boats on the trailer. We got the scallops. Now we're going to head home and cook them up. So now we got to clean the scallops. This is how I like to clean them. Just shove the knife in there. Gotta scrape the top of the shell like that. Break it open, throw the shell. And right behind everything in the back, I like to take my knife and just pull all the guts over the meat like that then take knife scrape it pull the meat out there you go scallop meat what's crack lacking my little bro fishies you have entered the cooking portion of this scallop catch and cook and clean cook and cook clean anywho so for our ingredients of today we got what's for scallop Salt, some Pam cooking spray with coconut oil, old day, and garlic powder. Sorry we didn't bring Lowry's because my mom forgot the Lowry's. The most important thing to pack in this whole trip. Anywho, so first up, what you want to do is get your hand pan, your pan heated up. You want about a uh, medium heat. I put on six, whatever heat that is. It's a little bit above medium, and uh, these are these are the scallops. Um, they're in a Ziploc bag to keep them, you know, nice and fresh. So Ziploc, Ziploc needs a sponsor. So I'll tell you what, though. So take your cooking spray. You probably don't need cooking spray since I'm putting butter in there, but I'm gonna do it anyhow because the last time I did it, I caked the whole bottom of it with burnt butter. So I'm gonna put some. Spray on there. And take me butter. Just scoop a ton of it. Good old chunk. Okay, okay, now we're getting places. 
Let that simmer a little bit, spread it across that entire pan. Then you want to get your scallops. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook a good amount because I'm, I'm kind of I'm feeling a little peckish. Got that one more just stuck in that corner. You see that? Boop, got him out. What? my hands. This is very sterile. The stove I can't say the same. You know what? Might as well just cook the rest. There's only a little bit more. Anywho, now we got a Ziploc. Yeah. You throw this in the trash can. Make sure that gets there and you don't want to litter. And then don't tell mom. So now you got all your scallops in your pan. You see all that butter? Yeah, let me some butter in my scallops. So now you want to start adding the, the seasonings. I'm going to start with a little bit of salt. Take the salt, sprinkle it. Sprinkle it on there. Now I'm going to take my garlic powder. I'm going to do garlic powder next. There's no reason for this order, it's just what I feel like doing. Burst. Sprinkle that garlic powder on the scallops. Stand them up a little bit, get that all spread it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you want to take your old bay. This is mainly for color and taste. Old Bay's gonna give it that nice, um, you know, red, brown color. Orange, whatever the heck Old Bay color is. You know, you don't wanna be stingy with the Old Bay because Old Bay's pretty good. Can't, I mean, Lowry's, I'd rather have Lowry's. Don't be stingy, don't be stingy. Got a lot of scallops. You just want to mix them around again. Get all that all evenly spread it out. But you can add a little more Old Bay if you like. Then you just let that cook. And, um, yeah, stir them every now and then. Make sure they're looking good. Once they get like that little hint of like nice golden brown on the outside, and they should be close to being done or done. Open up that bag. Ask your girlfriend if you want any. Mm. No? No, thank you. She said no. You pour them all in your hand. And Mm. They're not done yet. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Ooh. Ooh. Don't get too cocky now. Okay. You don't want to overcook them because then you won't get the full taste of the scallop. About there is where you want them. Somewhere around there. Scoop them right onto your plate. Ooh. Oh yeah. See that like a little bit of sauce right there? Ooh. Give that little drizzle. Bursty. I would kind of want to fry some. You want to fry some later? Sure. Turn off your stove. Don't forget, turn off your stove. Very important. I don't know why it's having such a hard time focusing. Focus. 
Alfredo that we made from last night. We had some scallop Alfredo last night. So good, so good. I think that's it. I think we gotta just do a little taste test. Would you like to go first? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's the one I'm gonna choose. Look at that, perfectly nice and orange. A little scallop. He was swimming around. And he was he was in a shell at one point. Now he's gonna go in my mouth. Roll him. That's straight fire right there. That's good stuff. Mm. Go in for a second. Mm. That's actually really good. I like that. Straight fire. Can't complain. Would you like to give her a go? Mm -hmm. Good, huh? Mm hmm. What would you rate it? 10 out of 10. I agree. <laughs> Thank well, you. Mm hmm. Right. And, that, and that, that's, that concludes our scallop catch and cook. If y'all want to see more stuff like this, um, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. And stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button because we are going to the Keys next week. And we're going to do some lobster. So expect some lobster catching cooks coming your way. Oh, yeah. All right, so thanks for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Ah!